Hello? Mrs. Mountjoy? Clarissa here. Clarissa? Clarissa Alderbrook. Major Alderbrook's wife. I'm in your church drama group. Yes, that's me. Fine, thank you. Actually, it's the drama group I'm phoning you about. You may recall when I joined you last year, I took great pains to make sure you understood what a wealth of experience I had. Mm. Not to be sniffed at, you said so at the time. We agreed, did we not, that someone with as many productions under the belt as I have would be a valuable asset to any amateur group. Let me see, I was in Calamity Jane. No, I wasn't Calamity, I had a supporting role. I was a stagecoach passenger in scene one. <laughs> but then there was also seven brides for seven brothers. I was the mother of one of the kidnapped brides. Yes, of course I've had a speaking part. I had two lines and seven brides. But that's not important. I was in those productions and you were aware of it. And I thought that my experience should be taken into consideration when it came to casting people for some of your stuff. Yes, I do realise that, as director, you have the right to cast whomsoever you choose. No, I would never dream of questioning your authority. But... Well, this is the third production you've done since I joined and, well... To be frank, I feel you've overlooked me. First, there was the Christmas service. You wouldn't even consider allowing me to audition for the role of the Virgin Mary. I'm not 45 years old. You must know I'm 44. But I don't see what my age has to do with my acting ability. How do you know Mary wasn't an older woman? Oh. All right then. If I couldn't play the Virgin Mary, I was definitely in the right age category to play her cousin, Elizabeth. Surely you could have written it into the service. It's in the book. Look, I didn't want to say anything at the time. Well, yes, all right, I did. But I didn't want to press the point. Look, I only continued pressing until I was sure you had registered my complaint and, made and understood that it was just simply not done to take an actor of my caliber and standing and make the third angel from the left. <laughs> then, to add insult to injury, there was your Easter production. Now, I do realise you were going for one of those airy-fairy, new-fangled, no-scenery, let-the-audience-imagine-it type of things. But did you really feel that the only part I could play was the boulder in front of the tomb? <laughs> I know it's an important part of the story, but... Uh... Why, thank you. I do try and move gracefully. <laughs> I used to do ballet, you know. Did it for years. Still comes in handy. <laughs> <laughs> My ability to move like a boulder is neither here nor there. I could remarry in that production, even if I was slightly too old to play her at Christmas. I was definitely the right age by Easter. <laughs> Let's face it, I was closer than the girl you cast. Oh, come on, Mrs. Mountjoy. Mary at Easter was a woman who had a son in his thirties. She would hardly have been called a teenager now, would she? I could have given the role depth. I could have supplied it with poise and understanding and raw emotion. I'd have had the audience crying in their seats with my portrayal of a mother's anguish. 
They'd have talked about nothing else for weeks. Pardon? Oh, yes, of course, the audience are meant to be thinking of Jesus and his suffering. But I think the audience would have seen him suffer more with me as his mother. Now, on to your latest production. The Harvest Festival Pageant. What's wrong? What's wrong? Are you serious? I am an experienced actress. I have dignity, poise, and yet you expect me to climb into that silly, not to mention itchy and hot costume in order to play a harvest offering. <laughs> I know what everybody else is doing it. I've seen everybody else's costumes and, and some of them are truly inspired. I fully understand you asking for any Blacklock to be a banana. <laughs> and casting Evelyn Eden as a juicy red apple seems to sum her up wonderfully. Although getting that horrid Tompkins boy to be a raspberry, do you know he's taken that as a green light to make rude noises at me throughout rehearsals? <laughs> Look, I don't care what you dress the others in. I don't care whether they're good sports about it or not. What matters to me is the part you expect me to play, and I'm here to tell you I cannot do it. I put up with being an angel. I tolerated being a boulder. But this, this is far, far worse. This is simply not a part I should play. Mrs. Mountjoy, let me say it loud and clear. I am not a 